This brief video will illustrate the instructions for configuring your Mac to launch Class Live web conferences when you're using the Firefox browser. So, from within your online course or your eCompanion, to join a Class Live session, you go to Live, then Class Live, and select Join Session. Now, this computer is correctly configured to launch the session with Java Web Start and that's the task of these instructions. So if I click on join session I get the first prompt to actually launch the session. You will get a prompt asking what application to use to open this type of file or do you want to save the file. So for this go ahead and save the file and then in Finder um, go to where you've downloaded that file, select the file, right click with the mouse or control click on the touchpad and then select open with other. Now mine does understand to use Java Web Start but you would only see the other. And this opens the choose application window and this is where you will track down Java Web Start and tell your Mac to always open this type of application with Java Web Start. So to do that, you first select your primary hard drive. This is usually the first device listed under Devices. With that selected, then you come to System and Library. And notice you have another library up here. Ignore that. That's not where you want to go. It's the library under the System folder. So open that library. Scroll down to Core Services open that folder and then scroll down until you locate Java Web Start. But you may see that it's grayed out and not selectable. So all you need to do is enable all applications and then the Java Web Start is available for selection. So click on that line to select Java Web Start and then check always open with Java Web Start so you don't have to go through this every time and then click open. That will launch this class live session and know in the future to always use Java Web Start to launch class live sessions. So again quickly the path to this is select your primary hard drive, system, library, core services, scroll down until you select Java Web Start, make sure it's checked to always open with Java Web Start and then click open. So that's all there is to it and you should only have to do this once and hereafter it will always know to use Java Web Start. Thank you.